Hello, once again, Jose Rodriguez here. I'm going to show you a cartridge that I allowed to go empty. And um, now I'm going to have to basically flush it. You see that? You see that upper half of the sponge? The bottom has ink in it. The top one does not. That sponge is lower density, meaning that the fibers are not closely packed together. I may... I say I may be able to get away with this by just simply adding ink and hopefully it will then permeate between those little fibers and fill the upper part of the sponge up. Now, here's a problem that you may have. Remember, this is photomagenta, PM. What happens if I'm not paying attention and I fill this with magenta? which is like twice the density or strength. I have to flush that cartridge out. There's no if, answer, or buts about it. I just messed it up. And if I didn't pay attention and I put this on my printer and I begin printing, I will immediately notice, wow, what the heck is going on here? Everything is very magenta. <laughs> yeah, and that's what might happen. And it could be cyan. You may be putting full strength cyan in a photo cyan cartridge okay now here's the other scenario where this might be the magenta one the denser one and you accidentally loaded photo magenta which is a lighter version well in this case you could possibly get away with fixing it without having to flush it remove the clip remove the plug let the ink dribble out and after it is done Put it over a wet paper towel, something thick that is wet, and make sure that it is touching the actual sponge. This portion right here. See that? Make sure that it's touching that. And draw out, wick out as much as the ink of the ink that, that you can. And then add some correct magenta or cyan. Remember, you can go from having added light cyan to full cyan but not the other way around okay if you added full cyan onto a light cyan cartridge yeah you have to flush it there's no way to really circumvent that problem so keep that in mind you will immediately see that immediately you will see it when you try to print and you will be wondering what the heck just happened yeah my recommendation let me put this back in my holder here my recommendation is to very carefully, if you have one of these holders from Rudy Hallamum and you have cartridges that are already pre-modified by Rick Johnson, in order to diminish the possibility of making such an error, work in this fashion. Put your ready-to-be-refilled cartridges on the left, your refilled cartridges on the right. When you buy one of these holders, you will get two of them. One is white and one is red, so you know which one is which. Take one cartridge, set it in between those two holders. Look at it. Make sure you got the right color and then the right bottle for that cartridge. If you have it in one of these squeezy bottles, again, and double, just double check. Double check your grays, double check your blacks, and double check your magenta and your cyan because they come in different strengths. That's it. If you follow the process carefully you will not make a mistake that requires complete flushing and that takes a couple of days to accomplish you better have an extra cartridge that you can then replace in the printhead that's been correctly refilled all right the good thing about this is you will immediately see the problem when you print okay and then the solution again can be simple or it can be a little bit more complicated all right thank you so much don't forget to subscribe share and like and as always Happy printing, everybody. Bye-bye.